Welcome back to a frosty edition of the cutting room floor right here on DOD TV. There's a chill in the air and the Bucks are getting desperate in their attempt to seek out a companion for those winter nights. See what I did there? Desperate, seek, desperately seeking. In this episode, we're taking a deeper dive into one of Old Man Winter's AM sits and a follow-up dough harvest from Forrest that didn't make the show. Then a snowy evening hunt with Wade that's sure to give you the chills. And finally, a closer look on the day good old Wader took on a massive body 155 inch tank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I will say this much. Mother Nature has been very, very kind this year thus far. Uh, we've had really, really cool temperatures that uh, have got a lot of big deer up on their feet and the rut has been in full tilt. We went up and celebrated with mom. She killed a buck, which was fantastic. I couldn't congratulate her anymore and Mark and Wade for taking the time and the energy and the effort to see to it that she got one. So we've got a couple deer in mind that we're after. We're gonna see if we can't have some luck with a decoy today, a doe. Uh, little, uh, what will we call her, Diane? Denise? Delilah? Oh, that's it, Delilah. One of the things we didn't have time for in the show, prior to Terry killing his deer, he's hunting a deer named Curly. They didn't run into him that night, but they had some encounters. And most importantly, Forrest put that 350 legend to work on a doe. It's pretty good stuff right there. I love seeing that. Mark was having really good luck with it up in on his Missouri farm. So I thought, man, it'd be worth a try. We did. And there's the results. It gives you that opportunity. If you are, are bow hunting, you get them quartering away. It's a pretty good, pretty good poke. So it uh, works out pretty nice just to see how they react. I love it. Oh, he went straight to her butt like he was supposed to. You know? What the heck is up with his eye? I don't know. Decoy seems to be working really well. They're all comfortable with it. It's perfect. I was a little worried about them accepting her, but they have. Now she's one of them. What are you going to do, Forrest? I'm going to do a little dough management here. What are, what are you using? Uh, using the new 350 Legend cartridge. It's, it's pretty cool. It's a brand new cartridge Winchester's coming out with. Incredible terminal performance from this new straight wall cartridge from our friends at Winchester. It's a 350 Legend. It's based around a 357 caliber bullet. Incredible. It's very fast, very low recoil, terminal performance unmatched. Well, here we are. It's phase eight, desperately seeking, and we're in tonight after a deer that Terry calls Curly. He's at the top of Terry's hit list, but he didn't present a shot, and we had this doe come out, and we had a decoy out tonight, and this doe was acting really weird and staring and stomping at it and stuff, so we decided to take her out. So. Terry handed me the gun and he took the camera. Uh, I got the window open and she offered me a really good shot, shot her high shoulder and it performed excellent. She dropped right there and just really, really happy with it. So we're gonna get a tag on her here and get her, get her out of the woods and get her in the cooler. Boy, the 350 Legend cartridge sure packs a wallop. Up next, we're tagging along with Wade as he climbs the blind on a blustery November evening. Here's hoping that the heavy snowfall results in an early Christmas gift. Got the decoy set out and uh, got it set out. And there's a couple does still on the field here. So up on top of this beautiful knob, that decoy could be seen from a long ways away. So hopefully that'll be enough to, to bring them within bow range. You know, it started snowing this morning and it's supposed to snow all the way till dark. So 
Um, we got super high pressure. I don't know how well the deer are going to move in this. Hopefully they move pretty good with this high pressure, but uh, fingers crossed for a good evening. I got Roger Sapper behind the camera, so hopefully he's my lucky rabbit's foot. We'll see. Big old freaking nine. So I'm here today to show you one of the many uses that you can take a Can-Am side-by-side -side and use it out in the field. We got a blind up here that, I, that sits on a trailer and I want to move the whole thing and get it into position before our firearm season opens. So we're going to take this, we got the receiver, the hitch, everything's ready to go. We're going to hook up to the trailer, we're going to pull it to our spot. Wade kills the evening of the 18th. However, that day really started out that morning. There was a highlight within the show of 13, but there was some footage there that didn't get shared that's worth sharing here on the cutting room floor. It is one of the prettiest mornings I could ever remember. We were freezing our tails off because it was so cold, but it didn't phase the deer whatsoever. I often sit there when it's that cold thinking, are they gonna move this morning? And then it, they act as if it doesn't phase them whatsoever. Beautiful morning in the snow. Check out all this glorious footage. driving in. I'm driving so Wade's got the camera, but he's up to bat tonight. Uh, we had an absolutely incredible morning this morning. It was cold, but boy, did those deer, did the deer movement warm us up in a hurry. We're hoping that same activity happens again this evening. Different spot, different wind, great conditions. Deer cast says great. We're hoping it's going to be great. One of the coolest things we did this year with deer cast if you're not a member of our app, go check it out. There's a free version if you want to try it out, or the Pro or the Elite. But one of the cool things we did was created DeerCast.com. So you can look at your DeerCast on your mobile device, or if you go to DeerCast.com, the desktop version, you can also see all of your farms, all your settings within there. So wherever you log in, DeerCast has you covered this year. Check out DeerCast.com.
Desperately seeking here, and uh, we were desperately seeking an Iowa giant, and man, he put on a show tonight. He popped out and uh, took him forever to get to us, and uh, after he got his belly full, he decided to chase some does, and he chased him right in 23 yards, Rage Extreme hit its mark, and he died in this beautiful creek, and just an awesome, awesome chain of events here tonight. Beautiful. Congratulations, buddy. That is awesome right there, Wade. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mark. I couldn't be more happy with him and couldn't be more thankful for you allowing me to do so. We're adding new videos every week, so make sure to click that subscribe button and check out all of our amazing content. This episode of DOD TV was brought to you by MOTV. For full episodes of 13 and all of our Outdoor Channel content, head over to the MOTV app and view it today.